Hello Pisces, welcome to the Gifted Hermit. I'm here in London, wherever you are in the world, I wish you love, peace and light and I hope this video finds you well. We're going to be doing a general reading, Pisces. Just going to light some sage. This is to clear the energy. Pisces, I hope you're doing well. I've pre-meditated on the cards, have not finished shuffling, but we're going to start off with the first card, the Queen of Wands. This could be fire energy around you, but I definitely feel like Pisces, this is your overall energy. It's almost like the cards are telling me that you guys are really trying to remain positive. Positive in a sense where you're thinking about doing positive stuff. You're thinking about remaining happy despite of uh, what may be going on around you. It doesn't have to be quite aggressive. I wouldn't say aggressive, but almost amplified your energy is amplified and the energy that's coming across is remaining positive yeah staying in control this type of energy is also the type of person that likes nice stuff yeah you can see she's on her throne with the black cat a lot of people are are scared of your potential Pisces, quite frankly. And you've got the energy around you where it's almost like you don't give a crap. I'm here to be happy. You can see here, new seeds are coming to, new seeds are coming to light, new roots. This could be new avenues in your life new projects, could be extension in your family, but generally speaking Pisces, you guys are remain, remaining positive, trying to remain positive, which is good, because the world can be a really fucked up place. Um, yeah, I do swear on my channel, so I apologise for those of you that don't like profanity, and yeah temperance next jumper guys pisces this is all about keeping control of your emotions this is about patience so perhaps a lot of you are being patient with something someone this is being very tolerant of others and of yourself this type of person has good control and balance of their emotions so it could be you it could be them when I say them it could be someone you know that I'm talking about and uh, sorry that beeping noise distracted me so quite frankly again going back to the queen of wands you guys are remaining positive you're keeping good control over your emotions. This is Sagittarian energy as well for those of you that have got Sagittarians in your life. You can see the sun in the distance, on the horizons there, yeah? A light at the end of the tunnel for those of you that are having to really keep a, a tight lip on things, right? Because you've got bigger things, bigger issues, bigger ideas, bigger stuff going on. Right, Pisces? Also, some of you might be treading carefully, you know, who you let into your lives. Who you give your time to and your energy. Please hit the like button, guys. Show some love. This, um, for my subs, then you would know that this is not your regular slot. 
but it's half term. I have children. <laughs> And it is what it is, but I'm loyal to my viewers and I've got time right now. The Fool, Pisces. So perhaps a lot of you are willing to take risks. This is new beginnings. This is new avenues in your life, Pisces. This could be... Um, this is pure energy. Kind of carefree. You see the dog there, like, don't, don't go for it. This is also naive, uh, naivety. I can't say it properly. But maybe you or someone is quite naive around you. And it's in a good way, you know. There's a lot of risk taking here as well. Perhaps a lot of you are taking risks on someone or something. Going for something, just really going for it. Could be like new beginnings, as I said before. New projects. Uh, maybe some of you recently had a choice to make or you thought you had a choice to make, but the choice kind of, it set out itself. It actually planned out and you didn't have to make a choice, right? If that makes sense. What else do we have for Pisces? Please, thank you. The Hanged Man. With the hanged man, I feel like it's a it's the the power of perspective. The hanged man could be that some of you are quite bored right now. It could be that you're static right now. Maybe you need to readjust. Maybe you need to readjust your thinking, Pisces. Maybe some of you are bored with life because this is about being bored as well. Maybe you guys have took a step back recently to re-evaluate re a situation or your path in life. It could be with regards to relationship. Maybe some of you are quite static in your relationships right now. Physical, personal, family. Something's a bit static. Something's a bit on hold right now. It could also represent a sacrifice that needs to be made. Maybe a sacrifice is necessary here, guys. A change in priorities, maybe, as well. This card means a lot. Let me know what's up. Yes, I have my dressing gown on. <laughs> well, I don't know. That, is that unprofessional? No, it's not unprofessional. It means I'm relaxed. Maybe you guys are quite relaxed right now. A Saturday evening here in London. It's quite a mysterious card though, the hangman. Like, maybe there's some built-up frustration here, guys. The star jumped out. To me, this is about self-belief. And it was reversed. Maybe some of you are questioning your beliefs, your goals right now. If you should do something, if you shouldn't. It's about going for it. Maybe some of you guys are thinking, oh, do I go for it? Do I not go for it? That sort of energy. It's Aquarius as well. For those of you that got Aquariuses in your life. It's like the aspiration card, isn't it? I do like it. I like it. You know? It's about feeling inspired as well. So perhaps a lot of you are feeling quite inspired. It could also mean new friendships, new trust. New trust in somebody, guys. It's about knowing you're going to be successful. So perhaps some of you guys are doubting that or have been recently doubting yourselves, Pisces. But again, overall energy, you're trying to remain positive, aren't you? Like you're, you're giving yourself, you're giving a lot of time and energy to others as well. It's also, 
It could be a truth's going to be revealed here. Or recently a truth's been revealed to you. You know, this is about finding something out as well. Let me know what's up. What else do we have for Pisces? Please, please and thank you. The devil, but it was reversed. It was reversed. So the devil represents like um, obsessive behaviours, addictions, alcoholism, drugs, sexual bonds, um, freaky stuff. <laughs> uh, it's Capricorn energy, isn't it? So, I mean, Capricorns are quite stubborn at times, but they're also good people. Again, maybe a decision's going to be made here or a decision needs to be made with the hanged man, a sacrifice. A decision has to be made, Pisces. Only you know what that is. It's about someone's limiting their perception on something as well. You could be kind of like chained to something here. This is thirst for money and power. It's quite deep. Maybe there's people around you that are wanting power. Maybe you're wanting power, Pisces. Maybe you're wanting more control uh, over your money or not having to worry about money. This is about being obsessed as well. Maybe you're a little obsessed about something or someone may be obsessed about you. You know, this is sexual sexual bonds as well. Could be... Um, someone's being ignorant in a relationship, being a little bit of a of a cunt, as we say here in England. How would we say that in America? Douchebag, or <laughs> I'm not sure. Someone's being a douchebag in a relationship, maybe. A bozo. <laughs> you need to let me know what this stuff means to all my American viewers. Right. Whoa. Maybe some of you have got aggressive partners. Or perhaps you could be uh, quite aggressive here. I feel like someone's definitely trying to have control over somebody here. Or a bit of power. Somebody's wanting power. Someone's definitely wanting um, money. Aries in your life, perhaps. Money is at the forefront of the of the mind of Pisces. I think for a lot of you, wanting to be wanting to be successful, right? Wanting to um, remain positive, remain focused, trying to keep good control. A lot of you are keeping good control of your emotions. A lot of you are taking risks right now. Risky behaviour. <laughs> yeah, sacrifices may need to... Uh, sacrifices might need to be made here in order to, to have this uh, success and this, this abundance, if that makes sense. It's quite deep. Maybe a, a, someone's trying to like get have control here, or maybe someone's being greedy with uh, with their emotions or their their money. I don't know. <laughs> right, let's give you some angel cards, Pisces. Oh, shit. 
That was a bit scary, but we survived. It's a new setup, guys. I'm just, I thought that was really cute. Shouts out, one of our friends made this. I try not to talk about my personal life, but we we try to do, we're trying to do some community work here in London. I don't know if you've heard, but there's a lot of um, youth violence going on. So, um, yeah, our team, one of the members, decided to do this to give to the young people for one of our events, which is quite nice. I thought I'd pull it there. I'm still going to pull it there. But I am going to blow you out because I don't want it to burn anymore. I definitely feel like, Pisces, some of you are having issues with your partner right now, quite frankly. Maybe someone's more in control in the relationship due to money or something like that, yeah? So a lot of you are questioning, questioning what's going on there. What do we have for Pisces? Please and thank you. So a lot of you are doing stuff with entrepreneur there coming up. A lot of you are doing a lot of things. The angels were like, excuse me, you cannot call me and then just carry on shuffling. <laughs> but here we go. Entrepreneur, self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. So yeah, a lot. Of, if you look into the illustration, can the way she's wanting a bit of that fire because it's already a light some of you it's the power of pers uh, perspective as well here but it's almost like she's like yes I want some of that fire I want that fire you know so a lot of you I see I feel like power has a lot of part to play here in this reading power and success yeah with the star there self-belief like a lot of you have got hunger a lot of hunger going on innocence beloved one everyone is guiltless in truth as no one can alter god's handiwork of perfection Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger or blame. See, this is what I was saying. I feel like there's a lot of aggression here, especially with the emperor. The devil as well, amplified. Fire energy, Sagittarian. There's a lot of... Um, you guys should check out your sun, moon, rising, Venus, because then... If you go and read those readings, you'll get a really big picture and everything will all fall into place and make much more sense. But I definitely feel there's a lot of, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's leave it to the cards. Beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger or blame that may shroud your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. And that's what I was saying here. Like a lot of you are trying to keep a stiffer upper lip here and keep your mouth shut because perhaps you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Sort of thing, you know, which is understandable because you guys are dope, you know. You're very... Um, loving people yeah that's weird I'm going to take you even with Aries or uh, the month of April might may play importance here guys or coming uh, moving forward April 2020 
stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. So maybe it might kick off for you um, in April or the 4th of a certain, the 4th of something. There's a lot of risk taking here. I said that before. And you guys are quite stable right now in quite in in all honesty with the emperor amplified there. I feel like there's a lot of passion here, a lot of energy that's getting pushed into lots of things perhaps. A couple of you guys are definitely going through some sort of addictions. Um could be yeah it could be drugs could be toxic relationships could be alcohol it could be gambling it's quite a broad spectrum when it comes to addictions right a lot of you trying to stay in control of your lives um and focus on your aspirations a lot of you've got uh, a lot of built up anger inside a lot of uh, embedded anger, aggression, a lot of um, a lot of stuff going on inside. A couple of you guys could be having issues with your relationships again. It's almost like a power trip sort of thing going right now in relationships. Could be quite bored in the bedroom department, perhaps in a couple of relationships. But all in all, you guys are, as deep as this might sound, um, this reading, you guys are just, you know, remaining, remaining focused or trying to remain focused, right? Because mental health is alive and well. And I can see here Pisces are just doing their best to stay in control of whatever situations are, are coming towards them. They're trying to remain positive. A lot of Pisces are wanting money. Money is on the mind, which is great. A lot of you guys are really busy, which is also great, you know. You've got a lot of ideas, a lot of fire in your belly. That's what I feel, yeah. A lot of you are wanting abundance, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this read in Pisces. The Gifted Hermit tries to be as real and as dope as possible. Of course I'm dope. <laughs> and so you guys are dope too, yeah? If no one's going to blow their own trumpet, then, you know, you've got to give thanks in life and be proud of yourselves for all you're achieving right now because I know a lot of you guys are busy and... Um, yeah, I hope this made sense anyway. Love, peace and light wherever you are in the world. And I'll check you in about a week's time, okay? Ciao, guys.